Hey y'all, it's Kelly at Crochet Mom for Life. How are y'all doing today? Um, it's Friday, is it? Yeah. And I may have a confession or two. Uh, I definitely got to confess about something I did today. But I thought I'd get on here. Um, I have a few things to show you and some things to talk about and some things you might be interested in. Um, maybe you might find some inspiration out of something I did or um, just in general, just want to sit there and crochet and listen to me yak a little bit. Um, I got it outside today. My husband, he's um, come home for a day or two from off the road and uh, I said, baby, do you think you could pressure wash that front porch? And I said, um, it'd be nice to do a video out, out there. And so he did it. Um, so I was tickled over that. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, so I, I, I just wanted to get on here and just talk a little bit. Uh, I don't do a lot of videos, I guess you could say, but um, I like to just wait until I got something to talk about. So I got something I feel in my mind I got enough to share. So anyway, so the first thing, I guess I, I made me some notes and I come out here and um, I thought I lost them. Oh, here they are. So, um, I said, Lord, I'll just have to sit down and rewrite them. And I thought, I'm going to find them notes. So, I got me a few things wrote down. And probably a few things I want to talk about that, um, you know, I won't get to or I'll forget or whatever. But I want to show you um, some inspiration I got this week off of one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Y'all know her. That's Miss Ella No Catchy Name. She showed a uh, bag holder. And, you know, I told you at the first of the year, my uh, daughter, she uh, asked me last year to make her a bag holder, and I never really done it. I don't know why. I guess it's because I want, so, I want to do so much other things, and I just forget or whatever. But uh, when I seen Miss Ellis, I said, that's, that's something I got to do this week, and I can do. So um, I want to thank Miss Ella for that inspiration. So I went to... The, uh, it's a free pattern. It's uh, off of Ravelry. And um, that's the only time I really use R Ravelry. <laughs> if uh, they got a free pattern uh, on there. So that I'm interested in. But she showed that plastic bag holder. So I went over there and I downloaded it. And uh, I made it. I started it um, one day and finished it the next. That you know, Y'all don't have to tell you what I did. But in between I fell asleep or whatever. I've been watching, um, been binge watching um, Teen Wolf. I like them shows. Teen Wolf, and I've been watching it on, where's I been watching it at? Prime, I reckon. That's where I've been watching it at. It's got like five seasons, and I've watched two seasons this week, I think. I can't watch none this weekend because my husband's here, and he wants to watch some kind of high ya you know, sword fighting stuff all weekend, or you know, some guns or whatever. But me, I just like a good werewolf show, you know. But um, anyway, that's what I've been watching, and I, I get caught up, you know. But I made this um, bag holder, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, you can probably see, if you get look close enough, it's got one of them little San Andreas faults in it a little bit. And um, every once in a while, that happens to me. But I, for the purpose that it's going to be used at, you know, I don't think it, I think it'd be all right, but this is what how it turned out. And like I said, it was really easy to do. You know, I got kind of distressed right there at the, you know, starting it and going is, is good. Just when you come back around, you gotta start another row. You got it. I got kind of confused a little bit, but I think I managed. But I like that stitch too. What it is, it was um five uh, chain single chain chain five and you skip two single chain chain five and you skip two around and um but yeah this was fun and um miss kk if y'all are watching miss kk she talks about christmas and um if you got people in your life you know you want to give them a little christmas present you know maybe you could give them this and a, i don't know my mind i'll go from this to a chapstick holder or whatever you know any little thing you know to go for your kitchen you can make some dishcloths and uh <coughs> excuse me some dishcloths or something and that would be a nice 
present for a friend. And that's a friend that's going to appreciate that present. Um, so, but yeah, but that was a, and you could, it's a good stash buster. So, so that was um, a very fun little project to do. And I suggest anybody that hasn't done one, or if you in one of them funks, and you just need to chill out on something not so funky, um, do a little bag holder or a dishcloth or something. But the yarn I used, and uh, I've showed it in several, several, several projects I've made within the last year, you know, because this year, you know, I've been so going. But uh, this is a Crafter's Secret yarn. Very, very nice yarn. It feels almost like a cotton, like I've said before. And uh, it's a nice soft pink. And I told Carrie, I said, what color you want? And um, she said, it don't matter. And um, so I said, she's, she's, you know, my little girl. Um, but uh, I said, soft pink. So that's what I made for her. So I got to give that to her. So that's my one of my little fun little finished things I did this week. And I really recommend that. And I'll link that pattern in my description box. Although, if you don't see it at first, just come back to it, y'all. Because I ain't figured out all this YouTube stuff. And uh, it's alright. I've been doing it for a while now. So I'm just going to keep on doing it how I've been doing it. So if you get some inspiration, you just come back and click on this video. And you'll find that link sooner or later. Within the day. All right, and um, the next thing I finished, um, y'all know the last video I made, I was making, um, I showed you my um, Wario. So, you know, I had the bundle. I bought the bundle. So, I, I made a Mario. And uh, Mario was fun to make. Um, I, I kind of fluffed on the hat a little bit. His hat looks like it might be too small for that big old head, but you know, it's all right. Dalton likes it. So there's my Mario. So then, you know, I had to make Luigi. So, um, I made Luigi. So, and, uh, it, they were, they were easy to make. And, um, you know, I mean, relatively rev speaking or whatever. Them, I'm trying to use big words and I ain't a big word person, but. Y'all know what I mean. They was it was pretty simple, especially after you got the first one done, and then you knew what you was headed for the the, first, the second and the third one. Well, I gotta make another one, y'all, because that's a, a bundle of four, and I really, I guess I wasn't thinking about my Mario world, you know. And uh, there was another one on that bundle, and it was um, Wild Luigi. So I've got Wild Luigi in my little bag and uh, maybe the next time you see me I might have him done but I think they turned out pretty good yes there's some flaws in there there's some things that ain't quite you know whatever but um, I think I did a pretty good job especially with that embroidering you know I'm, when you try to trying to make something with a with the thread or whatever I I did struggle with that just a little bit, but I think I did pretty good. So that's my other little finished objects. And another thing I did this week, let me look at my notes. I went to a YouTube tutorial, and she also has the pattern on her tutorial in her description box. And I'll link all that, you know. But uh, her, t her name is Heather Corrine Crochets, and I'll link that. But this is a, um, a, um, crochet Easter bunny. But I did my twist with it. And that leads me to talk about, um, Miss Caroline at Caroline for the Love of Crochet and Miss Cassandra at Craft Craftably Ever After. They have a little thing going called, um, Crochet Mod. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it, I think y'all, it's, um, I'll try to find one of their videos and link it down there that's talking about that. I think you take a pattern, you put your own spin to it. I think that's what you do. So, I made a little bunny, and it was, it was really easy to do and good, good instructions, um, both ways, watching the video and the pattern. But I did my own spin to the little crochet bunny. I made a little dress. And on the back, I got a little pom-pom for the tail, you know, 
you know, one that you can buy at Hobby Lobby and glue on there. So that's what I did. And I had some of these buttons. So I hot glued that button. And then I made a little Easter basket. So what y'all think? I think it turned out pretty good. I wanted to get fancy. And I tried. Uh, but I think sometimes you just got to take baby steps. And I'm one of them baby step people. And that's making them little cute little eyelashes. So I, I just need to um, figure out something that I can practice. Because, um, you know, it's going to take some time on that. But I'd love to get up there with some of them things you see on Facebook. Them folks, man, they can really make them. But look at her ears. Her ears ain't supposed to tip like that. You can put them up like that. But I kind of like her like that. She's like a, you know, she could be a mama toting the Easter basket and she is tired. Or she could be a baby toting the Easter basket and won't take a nap. So, anyway, I think she turned out all right. And uh, made her little dress. The little dress, <clears throat> I'd love to say it was my my uh, pattern, but it ain't. It was it was a dress from another pattern, but you know, I I guess that's all right. But I'm not entering a giveaway because, like I said, I like to give other folks a chance when I got I got more than enough stuff here, you know. And um, but I, I like to just let other people do that. But yeah, girls, this is my take. I hope that y'all like it, and I hope it goes by what y'all describing it to do. My eyes, I, I had to work on them a little bit because they kept wanting to get them lopsided. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, that's my little Easter bunny. And, um, I did do some gluing, glue, the, the glue, the dress and stuff to where it'll stay on there. So, I'm a fan of hot glue too. So, so that's my last finished little pretty. And, uh, like I said, very easy pattern. You work it from the, from the bottom up. Well, you work it from the bottom to the neck, and then you close it, whatever, off, and then you make the arms, and I think I put the arms, I think the arms, um, you, what did I do with the arms? Shoot. I think you attach the arms as you go. Anyway, and then you make the heads, you know, stick it on, and the ears. So, yeah. So, that's my last finish pretty. So, I guess I'll, let me look at my notes and see what, what I want to talk to you some more about. 12 minutes. Okay, she's far. I can keep on going. All right. Um, let's see. Let me talk about my new, my new whips. Well, I ain't started this whip yet. But, I went today and here's my confession. I did it. I bought some yarn. And you know, I didn't feel bad about it because I've had a good day today. Um, I had something happen earlier, and it's something I've been wishing and thinking about for a while. And you know what? God just worked it out. It just worked it out. So, sometimes you, you get to doubting a little bit, you know. But he listens, and uh, God worked that out. And uh, I think it's going to be good. So, when I went to Walmart, and I seen that yarn, I said, I'm buying that yarn. I'm buying every skein of it. Because I looked at it the other day, and I didn't get it. And I've been holding off, you know. But today, I said, oh, I feel good, y'all. And I went in there, and I, I got other stuff. And uh, I went to that yarn aisle, and I just put it in my buggy. So, what I want to make is out of this book. And Miss Curly Moose was talking about these books today. And she mentioned me. And, um... I said, I want to, I'm just wanting to do that. So, I had that on my mind before I went to Walmart. And, uh, anyway, it's out of this book right here. Maybell Bunny and Company. 15 lovable animals to crochet using chunky yarn. Well, y'all know I ain't got a lot of chunky. But I want this dog to kind of look, and I said the dog. I want this dog to kind of look like, um, I brought the wrong book out here, too. Ain't that something? All right, I'm not editing, but I'm stepping right here, and I'm gonna get that book. I'll be right back.
I left the book and the yarn in there, y'all. I told you, I'm, I ain't what I used to be. I, I can't remember everything. And it takes a little bit to get everything to, in your mind for these videos, you know. Um, and I, I really do appreciate all the ones that get on here two or three times a week and do y'all's content because it, it's really great. But I'm just not all that put together already. All right, so here is the book. Uh, Bonnie, the Cow, and Friends. And it's by the same uh, writer, the uh, designer as the other book, Claire Gelber. So, and I even put me a paper clip in here so I don't have to search. I'm making, I want to make Finley the dog. Because I used to um, dog sit my neighbor's dog. And it, I couldn't think of that dog's name in that last video for nothing, but it's Scoop. Scooter. We call him Scoot Scoot. So I want to make Finley the dog. And uh, I don't, I think I got some white yarn back there that will work for his beard. Because I didn't buy no white bulky. Ooh, it's windy. Um, but I went to Walmart and um, I bought this um, hometown what's it called? Well, hometown aspen tweed, and it's a six bulky, and um, it's sixty-four yards in each skein. This was three seventy something, three seventy, three seventy-four or three forty-seven. Might be three forty-seven, but I think that'll make a pretty doll because because scooter scoot scoot's kind of this color, you know. He's got a lot of these little colors in it. I bought like how many balls I buy? I think it said take 300 yards in the pattern, but I'm going to be using some white, so it won't take quite 300 yards. But I bought everything I had one, two, three, four, five, six, and this blob that was on the thing. I didn't, it was the same price as the other. I didn't ask for no discount because. By the time I get to the registers, halfway down the aisles, I'm ready to leave that place. I'm tired. So I bought all that yarn to make that dog. And if I have any left, I'll make something else with it, maybe. A hat or something. Because I like that, the feel of that yarn. It's, it's pretty soft. Um, it's got, like I said, it has the 64 yards. It's 94% acrylic and 6% rayon. Well, we'll see how that works out. It's Aspen Tweed. Yep. And it is Lion Brand Hometown. But it's very, very soft. It's not, it's not um, stiff. So I like that. So we'll see. Anyhow, I'm going to get started on that one. And um, I'm still working on that blanket. And I, didn't, I didn't bring it out here to show you. And, um... Yeah, that's all my whips. But I had a I had a, a lady to come in the store the other day and you know, last year I made um washcloths for this woman, dishcloths. I made her like twelve, I think. And I made, you know, like that. Might some might have been a little bit bigger, some a little bit smaller, whatever, but none of them small like that. They were all, you know, put in your hand scrub. Well, she messages me, and she says she wants me to make some more, but she wants some smaller. So, she said, I'll, I'll come up to the store and show you. So, she comes up to the store, and she has it. She brings it out of her bag, and she said, I want these to be just small like this. She says, I cut these, and they fell apart. She cut them. I guess she just wasn't thinking. But she wants them to be smaller. If y'all hear a tractor out there, my husband, like I said, is home for the weekend. A tractor or a buggy or something. They're planting a garden out there and they're planting a wildflower garden too. And it's like, don't you have, you, I said, it's going to be dark in a little while. You're putting too much on you, but you can't tell a man nothing. But uh, they're out. if you hear all that racket, that's them. But so I'm making it this wide and you know 
Maybe that'll be what she's wanting. I'm not going to stress about it because, you know, and now I'm going to make them when I feel like making them. It may be August again before she gets these jokers. But she cut them, y'all. I don't know. I guess we just don't think sometimes, but I'm going to make her some more, you know, because they are good to wash dishes with. I wished I had, you know, I've been crocheting since 89, something like that. I wished I had done all this years ago because I really didn't, cro I wasn't as consistent crocheter then as I am now. And that's saying a lot. You know, I'd make blankets and stuff, but I never did, um, that gum mouse airplane. I never did get to the level that I am now, which is making these little toys and things, but and bag holders and, you know, that sort of stuff. Get me something to drink. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm going to do that. So, I will be working that in between. So, that's, uh, where's my little paper at? Lord, I've lost it. Oh, here it is. <coughs> so, what else I want to talk about? Well, I reckon... Oh, have y'all watched Miss Crystal at Chronically Crocheting? She's put out two tutorials and patterns this week in her Etsy shop. So, I want to do the look, the little mini cats, the no-sew cats. And I want to do the frog, but I want to get them no-sew cats. Because I like her little thing she does on there. So, that's what I want to do. <clears throat> so, now I guess I'll talk to you about some things I got. And see if any of you might be interested in them. Uh, today I got, um, well, oh, I feel it. I got one of these things to put your, crochet, your safety eyes in better. And I tried one a while ago, and I think it's going to work out for me. Because I'm having a hard time getting those backs on them jokers. So I got me one of these things in the middle of the day. And I got it off Amazon. I think it was around $10. So, yeah, that Charlie says, what in the world is that for? I said, that's a crochet tool. He said, oh. <laughs> he also said, I thought you got a mop when he seen that yarn in his, pack, in his bag. He said, I thought it was a mop head in there. I said, no such luck. I ain't buying no mop today. So, um, I uh, been on the uh, Teemu kick, and I bought some stuff from Teemu. And, uh, I got a lot of stuff in this bag, but I'm just going to show you my crochet stuff that um, I come across that I wanted. Um, let's see here. Show you that one. Uh, oh, that. Let's see. What else is in here? And this. I think this is all I want to show you on that. You know, uh, <clears throat> everybody has some team calls and all, but. So I, I was going on there a little bit. But I bought this little yarn bag. And anyway, if you if you have downloaded that app and you have shopped at Team you might have seen that. And it's small, y'all. <coughs> it's not a big bag. But you know, you could put you one cake of yarn in it or one ball and come out that hole right there. Um... I like to get little scraps. I think I got to use all these little scraps, you know. And Lord knows I got some scraps. All these little balls, you know. And I thought, well, that'd be good. That'd keep them from going anywhere. And I might could have a little project in there like the Luigi, you know. Or a, a wild Luigi I need to make. Or this Pokemon I'm working on too. The little stuff put in there. So that was cute. I wish they had different... I like this pattern, but I wish they had different options too, but... Yeah, I got that off Tenu. I can't tell you the price off the top of my head, but it wasn't much. Less than $5, I think. It's got that little plastic case. So I got that. And um, they had these little things. I've always wanted that. I think this was like 89 cents. It's little crochet hooks. I think that's cute. I don't know what I do with it. But I think it's cute. And... Um, I bought me some hooks. No, I didn't need them. But they had this set on there. And I and when I got them, I crocheted a little bit with one of them. 
and um, did all right. It didn't slip, you know. I mean, but everybody has their ticks about their hooks, you know. You know, what's good for me, you may hate, you know. Um, so everybody has to weigh what they want to get. But anyway, it, it come in this little zippered up case here with a see-through window, and it had this um, tweezer, these snippers in it. In it, And um, anyway, <laughs> they look like tulip hooks. You know, there's tulip, tulip hooks you can buy. But I noticed on, um, like, all of them are pretty good except this last one, this um, 6.0. I used it, you know, but look, it's got some fuzzies on it, and I'm going to tell you why. Because this right here, I can run my finger across it, and I can feel roughness. So it's pulled some some um, yarn or polyfill or something with that. So I probably won't use this one very much. But I guess you just have to... If, you, if you're enabled, you know, and you just have to think about that. But, yeah, you can feel the metal. And I don't know if I can shave that down. I don't know. Probably not. That's the only one out of um, all of these that I have found that's like that. Let me just test it out. Yep. That feels like that's the only one that's got that roughness on and I I don't use a 6.0 a whole lot so it's okay and Lord knows I got more in there I could find a 6.0 but I wanted to show y'all that and um, that's what I acquired it's a cute little case you know zips up and I bought me this pouch because I like cheetah stuff I can't wear it I don't think it looks good on me but I like it. And it's a good pouch. The inside is, you know, the fabric on it is really good. It's not plastically. It's it's a nice pouch. And when I work, I take uh, ibuprofen and, you know, body eight rubs and everything else. Um, Rolades or whatever I think I might, health issue I might have throughout the day. It goes in this. So, I put that in my purse, but... Well, let me see. I reckon that's going to do it for me today. I'm at 27 minutes, and if you've stayed with me this long, thank you. Uh, I appreciate y'all coming by and watching me. And uh, I hate it takes me so long to get back on here, but, you know, I'm the type that, you know, I just when I come on, I just want to have something to keep on talking to you about. And uh, I like short videos, too. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I like them ones that I can sit down and... Uh, put a hook in my yarn and listen to them and uh, watch them and <clears throat> and um, crochet at the same time. So I hope some of y'all out there like me too. But and if you if you like them short videos or if my old country accent turns you off, you know that's all right. It's just fine. So, but I'm gonna hop off of here and um, go figure out something for supper. I got some pork chops thawing out. We'll see what I do with them. But y'all take care and. Um, I'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all.